instead of grumbling about the petrol situation, these two Palmerston North engineers put their heads together and did some careful thinking. Batteries, that's the solution, they said, and tried their hands at making electric motorbikes. In friendly rivalry, each designed his own. One used four batteries to make a 24-volt job, which he built from scratch in two days. Easy enough to the builder of one of New Zealand's first aeroplanes. The other has removed the engine from an ordinary motorcycle and used the frame. He fitted three batteries, which gave him an 18-volt bike. Now both sail off to work at something over 20 miles an hour. No petrol worries. And how silently they run. These men have found that one way of overcoming war's inconveniences is to do something and not grumble. Husky young New Zealanders. Like thousands of others, these boys of the Palmerston North High School go to work to dig trenches. Trenches that are well designed, narrow and with many angles. Surplus spoil is carted away. Pulling the cart is a change from pulling a roller over cricket pitches. But a bigger victory depends on it. Go to it is the school's motto today. And with pick and shovel, the boys dig in for their own safety. What's a shovel full of dirt down the neck? You can easily pay it back when the other fellow's not looking. But there's no time to waste now. Bomb blast and machine gun fire can't sweep these trenches clean. <laughs> there's the signal. Only a practice, but the real thing will find these boys just as ready. They're taking out a life insurance that costs only a few hours' work. Out of the city, city women are at work in the fields. Here they are, hoeing and thinning mangles, winter fodder for stock. This is vital work on the farm front. Our land must fight as our army fights. Since war began, these women have worked on farms in the weekends. Not for them the pleasures of sport, nor a lazy seaside life. And the money they earn goes to provide parcels for the boys overseas. They may be taking over their jobs, but they're sending them the wages. 